Hi y'all, welcome back. This is Mindful Equine and we are going to talk a little bit about just riding bitless in the field. So when I'm riding them without a bit, I still want them to move underneath themselves. And when I say that, I mean I want their inside hind leg to be reaching underneath them um, in a way that draws their rib cage up and uses their haunches. Um, and this horse, this is Cassius Clay. Um, Y'all know him as Ali. He is a big boy and, you know, I've said this a million times, but I really feel like his biggest, you know, the biggest thing for this horse is that we are riding in the field without a bit. <laughs> like, if you had asked me a year ago um, to do this, I would have said, oh, no way, I'm not doing that. Um, but, you know, here I am and just riding him off my seat and my leg and my weight, and he's just lovely. So this is a horse that I don't necessarily want to get much collection from. I don't need him to do any sort of upper level movements. My job for him is to stay relaxed, to have fun, to be my partner, to be my dance partner, however you want to put it. But, um, you know, for him, and you can see here, he swishes his tail. He doesn't like, you know, he doesn't like when somebody tells him to canter, but he will gallop around the field nonstop. Um, so for him, it's been really short spurts of canter work, maybe a 20 or 15 meter circle here or there. Here is Sopreso, my love. I love this horse. Um, he is a little younger. I think he's about seven. And as you can see, he's just like a really easygoing horse. We have a lot of fun. I love riding him bitless in the field um, up to the lake. There's a lake on this property that I take him out to. And for him today, again, like like Ali, we just want to have a good time. I want him to respect my leg, my seat aids, and, you know, it's okay if they're above the bit. I know that is, like, taboo to say, but for these horses to work on these hills, and I know it doesn't look very much like a hill, but there are a few hills on this field. Um, for these horses to work on these fields, you know, that's building their butt muscles and their back muscles and their neck muscles. And as long as they are stretching, and I know he's really far away right now, but you can kind of see that he's stretching down. Here, as he goes into the trot, he's not so much. But hopefully, you know, I'll incorporate some transitions. Here we're doing our little canter. And I did a shallow loop there just to get him, you know, relaxed through his back and working a little bit. That was an abrupt transition. We were going downhill, but I like that he respected that I said whoa, and he came back down. And again, you know, going downhill and doing a walk transition that goes against the horse of what they would naturally do. Um, here I'm just, you know, cantering a canter circle, doing a trot transition. Um, and I'm looking for him to come back down to that trot find a nice steady tempo rhythm, then I'll ask him again for this canner. And he looks great. He's going straight. While I'm just galloping around the field, I like to get off their back and do a half seat as opposed to sitting deep. Um, that's not what this ride is about. This ride is about having fun, letting them be free. Um, here I'm starting a little counter canner work and we haven't done too, too much of that, so I'm really happy with how he handled that counter canter. He just had a nice steady rhythm, and we can keep adding, you know, a loop here, a loop there, and that's how I like to introduce counter canter. It's not automatically you have to counter canter 
a 20 meter circle, it's it starts with a shallow loop and then you add in, you know, you do your little figure eight like what you just saw me do. But great rides and thanks for watching. Don't forget to wear your helmet.